Hi, my name is Adrian. I'm one of the designers on LEGO Ninjago. Hi, my name's Tom. I'm one of the graphic designers working on Ninjago. And we're going to show you this massive set from LEGO Ninjago, the Temple of Urjitsu. We have this really cool layout of the village with the main centerpiece, the uh, Temple of Urjitsu in the middle, and we have two really fun, neat buildings on each side. Uh, this whole layout is connected with a bridge, obviously guarded by two stone dragons on each side and a really neat statue in the middle. We're going to focus a little bit on the two side buildings, which one of them is the uh, blacksmith. The blacksmith has a, quite an interesting wooden structure outside that uses some tricky techniques that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Uh, you'll also notice the two trees on each side. There's a little bit of dried fallen leaves on the rooftop. And one detail I'm sure you're all going to love is the glider hidden in the back, which is a very similar glider to one we did back in the old Ninja theme. So, Tom, what do you think? I think it's great, Adrian. I like the little details like the rat on the side there in the <laughs> attic. It's nice. Um, as far as graphics go, we created this little sign here. There's an anvil and a hammer on there. And there's some detailing on the door as well. The smuggler's market is a very interesting place. It uses uh, the garage doors to get the oriental roofing, the whole uh, curve on that. So why do we call it a smuggler's market? It's because under this roof we're hiding some treasure chests filled with golden weapons, as you can see. But again, I'd like to pass this over to Tom and he'll yes, tell us some about the graphics. Not only weapons that are being sold here, but also food, such as bread, is shown in this little sign here. And over here, we can see that fish is also being sold. Uh, inside, there's a few neat little touches. Uh, for example, in here, you can see two Ninjago trading cards, which are hidden away in the back. Here we have the whole model assembled. We have the bridge connecting the two buildings. You can see the path running along the temple and the blacksmith and another path running along the market and the temple on the other side. We have decorated windows, which is the first time we've decorated this particular element. So now we can have some cool rice paper windows together with the rice paper doors in the front here, which are a signature oriental detail. So let's look inside the temple. Here on the ground floor, you're greeted with tea, lovely entrance reception area. And further up on the second floor, you have a training room where the ninjas sharpen their skills. And then on the top floor here, you can see Wu's study, where Wu enjoys reading and painting and relaxing. So here's all the minifigures you get in the set, which there are a lot of. Firstly, we have the ninjas, which are the latest ninjas in their black outfits. We have Kai, Jay, Cole, Zane, Lloyd, and Nia. Also, we have some exclusive minifigures to this set. We have a brand new Wu in his gold gowns. Amasaka, whose wig is in grey for the first time. We also have the return of Dareth wearing a brand new outfit. First time ever, another exclusive minifigure to this set. We have the postman. We also have Claire, who is a tourist visiting the temple. And we also have the shopkeep, Jesper. Here are some of the uh, more interesting color changes we've done for this model. As you can see, we have the dragon in gray as a statue. Uh, my favorite would be the uh, grass stalk element in olive, which we have for the first time. And we have the tiny trophy, which you will uh, see inside the uh, theater. And I can finally show you my favorite feature of this model as soon as we turn up the lights. So here we have the complete temple of Erjitsu with all the nice details and all the building techniques. I guess all I have to say is happy building. Yeah.